Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Four Tech Make It Loco channel. Today we have some more AC diagnostic quick tips for you. Today we're gonna show you how a system looks when it's overcharged. So we have the shop truck in here right now. The system, the AC system's like brand new, just about everything's been replaced on there. It has a proper charge in it. So we're gonna show you what it looks like when it has a proper charge in it. And then we're gonna take the same vehicle, the fully functional vehicle, and we're gonna overcharge it by about a pound on purpose so we can show you what an overcharge system looks like when you hook it up to the manifold gauge set on there. I'm gonna overcharge it by a pound because a lot of guys out there that do your selfers, they get the little cans, they're 12 to 16 ounces, so they're usually, they jam that in there and they see how it works and then they give up and bring it in uh, to a shop and that's generally why I see they're overcharged by a pound like that. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna show you exactly how it looks. You can identify it with your manifold gauge set and see exactly what's going on in your AC system. Let's get to it. Okay, so these are the pressure readings, both high and low side. Uh, with the vehicle running at full ambient temperature, it's about 92 degrees outside right now, so it's nice and hot in here. But you can see our high side pressures are definitely in check. When it gets really hot under the hood, it can be up to upwards of 275, 300 even, okay? Again, we're concentrating on the low side more than anything else. You can see it's in spec. With this kind of pressure running through the evaporator on there, we're gonna get a cooling effect, okay? Now, of course, there's a huge heat load inside the vehicle right now, um, so it's pulling all that out of there as it runs through. So right now, it's what? 50 degrees coming out of there, 48 degrees or so, because it's pulling the heat load out of the vehicle. It's been sitting outside all day in that sun. So it's pulling that out right now. And eventually it'll get down to a discharge temp of in the 30s, high 30s for a day like today. But again, we're looking at pressure readings. That's the most important. Is the system operating properly? Does it appear to have the correct charge in the system? And you can see these are good readings, especially for how hot it is outside. So now we're going to purposely overcharge this same exact system that's running perfectly fine right now. We're gonna overcharge it by one pound. I think this system takes a little over two pounds in it. So if you overcharge it by one pound, it's gonna be way too much in there. Uh, but that is a very common thing I see when uh, do-yourselfers try to fix their AC system. They, they say it's not cool enough Let's add one of those little cans in. Well, the cans would be 12 to 16 ounces, about a pound, right? So that's what I see going in there. So we're gonna overcharge by one pound, and we're gonna come back and look at these pressure readings and see how much they change. All right, so here we go. So we're gonna go ahead and charge it while it's running right now because there's so much pressure and it'd be hard to get the charge into there. So we need to do it while it's running. So you can see our pressure is still good and we're gonna overcharge it by one pound. That's what I see most often. And we're just gonna open the low side on here to uh, let it get into the system. And remember, this is all for demonstration purposes only. I'm not telling you to overcharge the system or undercharge it or anything like that. I'm trying to show you what a good system looks like and what an overcharge system looks like. So let's go ahead and overcharge it. Open that side up and let it charge, okay? And it'll draw it into there. And then we'll have, I believe, like three pounds uh, in this system on here. About 34 ounces is our charge level. So yeah, it'd be like over three pounds in an F-150. So we need to let it actually get into the system here and work its way through. Uh, and then we can start checking the low and high side pressures on here. Da, 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 da. Let it get into there. All right, so we can go ahead and just cancel that. So now we're gonna let the system run, let the refrigerant get through the system on there. But you can already see the big, all-important factor here: the the low side. It's already crept up this high, what was it, like eight, to eight PSI or so uh, from before. Our high side, yeah, it's increased a little bit maybe, uh, but our low side is a side that's increased so much, and that's where we get all our cooling from. So if our pressures are too high on the low side, 
it's just not gonna cool inside of here. It's gonna be even worse on a hot day like today. So now we're pushing, what, 60 on there or so? Yeah, so I'll let it run for a little bit and get it through the system on there so everything equals out. Uh, and then we'll come back and check these pressures. All right, now that's run for a while, it's definitely nice and hot in the engine compartment. Let's take a look at our pressures on here. So you can see our low side pressure, the all important low side pressure is way too high. The system is fully operational. The condenser's operational, the fan's operational, uh, the compressor's good. Everything's good in the system, fully operational, like new actually, uh, except for the charge level. And you can see our pressures are way off. So where high side's starting to creep up, be too high, and our low side, again, is also too high, even for these conditions that we're in right now, being 90 degrees outside. And that's all gonna correlate and, and come through with our discharge temp inside of here. You see what I mean? We pulled the heat load out of the vehicle already, basically. We're inside, it's, it's all closed up in here in research. Pulled a lot of it out of there, and it's still discharging over 60 degrees. You're not gonna feel cool from that. So, that is all for now. I just wanna show you guys what an overcharged system looks like compared to a properly charged system. Both your low side pressures and your high side pressures will be too high for the ambient conditions that you're in. Way too high. And you're not gonna get that cooling effect. That's all for now. Stay cool, guys.